Today's social media segment is brought to you by Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Welcome to Bayou Time. I'm Jacob DeGate, and uh, now joined on the set by uh, Mike Palmer from the Bayou Cane Fire Department. Good to see you again, Mike. Good to be back. All right, and then we also have uh, Isaac Harbor, who's recently graduated, and Brandon Adams, uh, also recently graduated. Thank you all very much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. All right, Mike, so uh, upcoming, you, you had a, a New Fire Academy, some uh, new cadets went through and graduated this year. Can you tell us about it? Yes, we started this academy uh, early in the year, around January. Uh, we just graduated um, 14, so 14. eight basic firefighter academy, and our six paramedics went through a hybrid fire academy, too, to get them some uh, fire training. So we graduated everyone together. Um, this academy, we also added EMT for these guys. So if, if 12 weeks wasn't enough for the fire academy, we added eight more weeks of uh, oh, really? training for EMT. Wonderful. And uh, it was this just by Ukraine Fire Department? Yes, we, uh, we opened it up as a regional academy. We had one from Du Large. Mm -hmm. uh, they had a new firefighter that they wanted us to train, so we had one from Du Large with us, too. Oh, wonderful. And, and that's something that y'all used to do, I think, out of LSU, you used to send them over there, but now y'all able to do it yourself? Yes. Uh, everyone used to go to LSU's academy. It's, it was FETA, FETI at the time. Uh, Chief Email directed our training division to look at doing our own academy in 2018, and we started in 2019. And this is actually our fifth academy. One graduation got postponed because of COVID, and our fourth graduation is, is what we're looking at from this past weekend. All right. And let me ask uh, Isaac over there from the great state of Wyoming. Yes, sir. Uh, recently uh, came down, decided to make this his home. Can you tell us, you know, give us your thoughts on the, on the training and what you've seen so far? Sure. Yeah, the training was great. Uh, I mean, we definitely had some hard days, but I mean, uh, when it comes down to it, what other job pays you to drive fire trucks and play with fire? <laughs> so I think it was a good experience. Um, the heat down here is a little different. I think everybody at the station knows I'm like a broken record when it comes to that. <laughs> but uh, no, training was great. I had a blast. All right. And Brandon, this is, uh, you know, you, you're from this area. Uh, can you tell us, uh, you know, what made you become a, a firefighter and what you thought so far? Well, I was actually the oldest recruit by quite a bit, <laughs> really? um, for the most part. Um, my late life career change for me, and uh, I couldn't be more rewarding in pretty much every aspect that you could imagine it to be. Oh, that's great. Uh, and I think we have a, a video that, that'll show some of uh, the things that went on, if we can play that now on from the Academy.
man that's that's some great footage right there uh great job on on, on getting all that and putting together it, it really looks like uh you know some intense footage how, how intense was the training uh was was it something that you, you didn't expect or, or you know for me actually i think the uh physical aspect actually came pretty easy it was actually like the educational as aspects we had to hit the books learn about ems learn about like uh firefighting pumping operations it was difficult for me i don't know was that your experience brandon um yeah i'd say I'm probably right in line with that um everybody thinks you know Anybody could be a firefighter, but uh, this has been one of the most challenging things I've, I've ever done, honestly. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, Mike. So I guess y'all got a new new crop of great uh, recruits there that, that have gone through the training, and I'm sure you're going to look forward to working with them over the years. Yeah, there's plenty of days in that video that they won't forget, uh, <laughs> but they do live at the station. So uh, when you see them out at the stores or collecting their groceries make sure you say hi to these guys <laughs> welcome to the department will do and, and thank y'all for coming on and good luck to y'all and, and isaac hope you you like the area yes thank sir you. appreciate <laughs> it thanks for having us yeah, thank you all right stay tuned for more right here on hdb From the moment you walk into the showroom floor at Trap Cadillac, you understand our commitment to providing a truly exceptional experience for all returning and new customers. Our goal is to make sure you're always comfortable while understanding the entire process of getting into your new Trap Cadillac. When you drive a Trap Cadillac, you know performance, bold styling, and our sure commitment to service. One thing you can always count on here at Trap Cadillac is our excellent service experience. 